I'm white balancing with flower. Okay, so we're gonna start off with breakfast and I have kind of said this before in that Asian breakfasts aren't really the healthiest. Like usually it's bread wrapped in bread, wrapped in more bread. And so it's just, um, it's very, it's very carb heavy or that, or you might have like congee or, you know, like rice or something. So I always recommend like, it's just, it's just easier, uh, a protein shake in the morning. And you guys have seen me make kind of my special blend um, in the vegan Asian weekly meal prep, but buying it off the bat is something really easy. And that way you get the nutrients that you need, especially when you are talking about kind of like going on a diet, you wanna make sure that when you're cutting your calories that you're not cutting your nutrition um, as well but I didn't want to trick you guys out of a recipe. So um, I will be doing something later. Maybe if you guys are good, I'll do a dessert uh, with this afterwards. But what I'm going to do is um, actually a soup that I really love and it's super clean tasting. It's also kind of savory and really keeps you full um, as well. And it really just contains um, daikon radish, some carrots, and then some um, dried shiitake mushrooms. Afterwards, you just add a little bit of soy sauce, and then I like to add a little bit of um, lemon juice as well, just to brighten up everything. And it's really just like a very clean, kind of like light vegetable stock tasting soup that is still savory, and that is going to keep you guys nice, uh, nice and full. So what I have planned for lunch is going to be veggie spring rolls and there's gonna be vegetables, there's gonna be tofu in it, which all in all doesn't sound too, too exciting, but what I love about veggie spring rolls is actually the dipping sauce. So this dipping sauce, I have some peanut butter, I have some soy sauce, I have some garlic, I have just all of these really yummy things. And um, I know what you guys are saying, peanut butter sounds really kind of like highly caloric, but I kind of water it down a lot. I mean, the sauce is still really creamy and very flavorful, but because peanut butter is such a strong flavor, you can kind of stretch it out a really long ways and still have the peanut butter flavor, still have like whatever you want in the background and still have it be like a really delicious sauce. To me, I think that the way to really have all of these vegetables and still not feel like, oh, essentially I'm just, I'm just having a really, big salad all rolled up is this sauce. So I'm gonna show you guys, it's gonna be a very, very cool recipe. So the first thing to do is to really chop up the vegetables into matchsticks. There are definitely vegetables that hold up better for the next couple of days, so you guys can decide that. Um, I have some carrots, I have some tofu, I have um, some red pepper here as well. I'm gonna put in some um, spinach for a filler as well. And then, get this, I'm super excited about this. I have these rice spring roll wrappers that um, if you guys can see them, so these are actually brown rice papers. And I don't know if you guys can all find these, but there's usually kind of more fiber and whatnot inside brown rice. So this is going to be really cool. But if you guys are looking for, you know, like you don't want to have any starches while you're dieting or whatnot, 
have also steamed some Napa cabbage leaves. Sometimes it's called Napa cabbage, sometimes it's called Chinese cabbage. And you just wanna make sure to get those really big leaves, steam them for, you know, right around 10 to 15 minutes up until they get like this so that they're nice and pliable. And sometimes like the, the leaf towards the root is a little bit harder so you can cut that out. But afterwards, what you do is you stack kind of these two together and you turn it essentially into kind of like a rice paper. And you do it like this and you fill it up with vegetables and then afterwards you just roll it up. And for me, it is equally as delicious and you don't have to deal with the carbs of the rice um, or anything else. So I'll show you guys a good way of wrapping those up later. Potentially what you can do is for like the first two days, use the, use the rice paper wraps and then for the next two days, uh, go ahead and use your uh, Napa cabbage wraps, which, you know, hold up really well. So let's get to the recipe. Okay, so I've said this before, but with these rice wraps, it's really easy to do. You kind of take them, you only need to dip them in water for a couple of seconds and you can kind of feel how pliable it gets because it softens right away. But a very important thing is as you're rolling, it does have a tendency to stick to the board like crazy. So instead of putting oil and adding calories, just make sure that your board is nice and wet. And if it is wet, then this guy won't stick. And what I've learned from doing rice paper wraps in the past is as you're feeling it, like it might still seem like it's a little bit kind of hard. It's not as soft as, you know, the state that you would um, in eating it. But if you take it out now, just when it's just still, maybe not necessarily as soft as you want to be, by the time you wrap everything up, because it's still soaking in water at this point, it will soften some more. But if you keep it in the water too long, it gets so soft that it becomes really, really hard to, to wrap. I something like this so cute uh, these will actually hold a couple of days into the in the refrigerator so what I do is I actually wrap it all up in um, plastic wrap or saran wrap and that way it kind of holds in all of the moisture it doesn't um, let the rice paper dry out and then that will hold a good couple of days um, in the refrigerator okay so now let's try to do one with the cabbage leaves um, it's so much easier because it's actually it doesn't stick to anything so I'm going to just take a couple pieces, lay them down, and it helps if you pick leaves that are broad and big. And these ones, I think it's gonna be harder to close on the side, but you can leave them as opened, as opened wraps. <laughs> you get like a veggie wrap like this, which also looks really good and it doesn't have all of the carbs in it. And you can still dip it in that um, really nice peanut butter sauce. And then when you're packing it for lunch, this is going to be the sauce that really uh, does it all. So I basically mix uh, a mixture of, let's see, a little bit of peanut butter along with um, 
the Lee Kum Kee gluten-free soy sauce and the Lee Kum Kee minced garlic, and that's like a really good flavor all together. A little bit of lime juice actually goes a really long way. You guys can choose to add some chilies, which is really nice. Um, I'm not gonna do that because you guys know I'm not too good with spices. And then that little bit of sweetness. So instead of adding sugar, instead of adding like maybe a barbecue sauce that has uh, more sugars in it, I usually just, I just add a couple drops of stevia or if you have um, a sugar substitute. When it comes to savory preparations and savory cooking, I always say this, but using a sugar alternative is not such a big deal because you're only using a little bit of it. So any kind of like bitterness or like weird flavor that you get from a sugar substitute is easily covered by the rest of the ingredients. And honestly, you guys wouldn't know that this sauce was like anything but amazing. And again, you guys can switch out the meals any way that you want. Like if you are specifically a hungrier person in the morning, you might want to have this noodle dish in the morning. And if you're not, then you know you have the soup in the morning. So all of these three meals can be um, kind of inter interchanged. So my dinner is going to be super versatile. I am going to do a uh, basic stir fry noodle and I'm going to put in some edamame for protein. I have all of these vegetables here. And then the cool thing is, check out what I got from the, uh, from the grocery store. So this, this is so dark. Um, so this, this is shirataki noodles. And I think a lot of you guys know this as well. It's, it's konjac, it's made from konjac jelly. So konjac is pretty much a Japanese yam, but they've taken it out, turned it into a flour. So it's just, super low in carbohydrates and it like maxes out in fiber. So um, the idea of these noodles is that it's supposed to keep you really full. It's low calorie, low carb, no gluten, and it's just really supposed to fill you up uh, with all that fiber. So yeah, you can, you can do this. You can um, use a spiralizer and put in some like zucchini noodles as well to add some extra, some extra vegetables into your noodles. So let me, let me go and get the mushrooms first. Okay, so you guys know me, I'm super lazy when it comes to like vegetable preparation, vegetable chopping. So one thing that I love to do is to just cut all of my vegetables, uh, mushrooms included, mushrooms, beans, everything. I like to cut them all in advance. I like to either stick them in a box like this or stick them in a bag and I just freeze them. And you can go ahead and label it as, you know, like stir fry vegetables or like rice vegetables. And whenever I make a dish, I can just go into the freezer, take out that bag and use that vegetable for that. A lot of the times, I find that it's just a big time saver because sometimes I just, I don't add as much vegetable as I should because, because of the preparation process. And so this definitely just cuts down that time. My heart is
with me this long. You all deserve a treat and um, I'm going to keep it really simple. You technically don't need a food processor for this if you use a nut butter instead. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some cashews. I'm going to put that in. Um, I recently started getting this um, strawberry protein powder that happens to be pretty good and I think it's sweet enough already. Like a lot of people or a lot of recipes online recommend like adding dates or adding, you know, additional sugar. And I think if you need to do that, maybe just stick some stevia in it um, instead. And then afterwards, I'm just gonna pulse this with um, whatever kind of non-dairy milk that you have until it is, it needs to be super thick. Like it still needs to be kind of like peanut buttery thick. And then afterwards, we're just going to roll it in a little bit of coconut. So I'm just gonna go and blend this right now. And then we're gonna, we're gonna dip it in coconut. My heart with it in between your fingers to see if it will actually like press together into a ball and that's kind of my best guess for it so that's how this is going to look and then what I'm going to do is quarter size ball seems right <laughs> oh yeah this is a really this is a really nice consistency actually and then afterwards you'll get it into a ball because you're gonna dip it into some coconut I wonder if you guys like seeing a, like the format like this because I hate using two cameras. It's a, I essentially do the whole thing twice. So I do it for you guys here and then I go and get a camera and then I do it again because I, I just I can't be bothered with like two cameras at the same time and having all of that like video go and, and, and syncing every, I, I don't know. <laughs> these guys end up going. I guess that should kind of serve as your like little treat, right? Like some people need a little pick me up like in the middle of the day or they need like a little bit of a dessert at the end of the day. I would say like one, maybe two max. Um, when you are trying to, you know, diet, lose a little bit of weight, it, it is really still about portion control and how much you eat. And you know, there's, there's, there's some nuts and there's some butters and you know, everything kind of all adds up. But if you do need kind of like a pick me up, a little bit of a treat, it's probably going to be a good idea to also have like a glass of water with it. Water really helps to satiate and it kind of plumps up all of the fibers and then you end up feeling more full. And they smell really good. Strawberries and coconut, they go very well together. <laughs> enjoyed these recipes. I think for sure it's not going to taste like diet food, I promise. Um, if you guys have any comments, concerns, if you guys want to see me do a special type of meal prep, de definitely give me ideas down below because I love um, I love hearing from you all. And um, yeah, I guess I will, I'll see you guys again soon, all right? <laughs> Bye.